of penetrating matter of love. Tonight, we will spill it all out here on the show as we meet the man behind the suave, Afrocentric looks, mastery of poetry, emotion. Ask me, and it's filled with life, zest for life, be it risk or anything you want. Our guests on his birth certificate has the name Kwame Insia Appel. Industry name is Ochiame Kwame. And we also call him the Rap Doctor. He's our guest. Most welcome. Bullets. What an introduction. Because you've that, earned it oh and you man. deserve it. Thank you. Thank Ochiame thank you. Kwame. Thank you. The Rap Doctor. Bullets. And you'll be 40, what? Eight I'm, this year? Yes, in, in two or three months. In, in two months. or three months, you'll be 48. Yes. You don't, you don't look it at all. I, I, I we'll we'll delve into that and the <laughs> secrets and everything. Because you, can't, you, you actually, you know, walk into the studio. You come into our studios with no, you know, <laughs> singlet or undergarments. I don't know whether it's a, it's a I, rope that it's you're wearing. <laughs> I think it's a kimono. A kimono. You know, made by, yeah, like made an by apostle where, of Jesus. Yes, made by... Um, a Japanese? Where, 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 no, we're Ghana. Oh, we're this Ghana. We're Ghana, yes. Fantastic. So, I so love I'm, the colors. Thank you. Very vibrant. Thank you. And we'll, we'll get into it yes, because I yes, spoke yes. about your fashion style. You must welcome. Thank you. Thank and you. And you've you. earned your sport right here on Star Chats tonight. We'll get into your life. We'll talk about issues, social issues, political issues, economic issues as well. Star Chat is probably brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you go, Haptel is everything to you. Co a mixture for your general well being and GCB Bank, your bank for life. My name is Bola Ray. And with time reading 10 minutes after 7. Once again, thanks so much for honoring our invitation, Ochami Kwame. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pleasure. It's been a while we sat down, you know, to have a conversation and all of that, but we're glad. You're doing some, some things of late, I should say. <laughs> I mean, risk or not, but oh, yes. promoting, is it boxes, is it briefs, is it supporter? It's, it's boxes. It's, boxes? Yes, it's, it's my, my, my new fashion brand. You know, I've been promoting fashion throughout half of my whole career. Okay. You know, so I decided that, okay, mm. let me bring one out. You know, so, so 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 why 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 you know underpants or boxers or or briefs why 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 not pantalon trousers or or shirts bespoke suits yeah or bespoke suits because we know that you you you're a fashionista yes so why so boxes? I have I have sensitive skin whenever I'm creating something. Mm. I try to create something that will solve a problem, especially my problem. So I have sensitive skin. When I wear boxer shorts or briefs, because they put that tag behind it, it's very, very annoying. You know, when you uh -huh. are working or when you are working out, it's scratching you. And the way they put the seams on the elastic around the waist, that's also irritates you. Irritates, so okay. I, I have um, a sensitive skin. So for the past, throughout my life, every time I wear regular boxer shorts i turn it inside out for the past what for, since, 20, 20 yes years. since i started wearing boxer shorts you always wear your boxer shorts inside out interesting why because the part that uh, the seams do not touch mm. that is the part that feels good and since i'm wearing the boxer shorts for me I want is it because you are a man and <laughs> fully loaded two of the boxes <laughs> no, so you no. wanted no 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 it's, it's just the the, 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 the way the way it's made, made. It, it irritates mm. me. It, I mean, it makes me uncomfortable. So you always, for the past twenty something years, you turn your boxer shorts inside, inside out. out. Yes, so that for it, it to be comfortable. Exactly. So I decided to make boxer shorts like that. Because mm. there are men like that. Exactly. Like you. Exactly. So there are so many people who are, you know, who are sensitive to mm. that type react of to production. Mm. Okay. You know, so I decided to make one, wow. and then I also realized that sometimes the type of cotton that is used. It's, it's vibration or the way it feels. I mean, this, this is the thing that is closest to you. It's at your most vulnerable state. It uh -huh. must be comfortable. You, okay. must, you must be able to fall asleep. So you decided to go into the production of boxer shorts? Yes. To are they the, made in Ghana? Not yet, but very soon. We are, we are setting soon. up. Yes, we are setting okay. up a factory to make them here. So these are all trials. That's why it's important for people to buy. Why, why did you decide to be the model? I mean, yes, you can. Why not? <laughs> but why did you? Because I, I, first of all, I made the thing for myself. Mm. You know, so I wanted to wear it 
for people to know how it feels and how that you believe in your brand exactly that i believe you know that you are the best person to sell your ideas you mm. know and plus i I, I when we started we thought of getting a model to be on it but i've realized that some most of the celebrities that go into the production of boxer shorts they they they, they are the models on it for messi to ronaldo mm. to uh, almost everybody i've seen david beckham do e that as everybody, well everybody you know mm. every celebrity that goes and why is because it creates affinity between the product and the and the and, and my already existing audience mm. you know so we thought that I mean, making a social decision or between making a social decision and making a business decision, we chose the business decision. Interesting. So business decision over what some would say in quotes, morality. Exactly. Business decision over morality. Completely. Over ethics. Completely. Okay. Any what? day, any time. No, no, not, not any day, any time. But because of what the boxer shorts mean to me. Mm. And because of my evolution at, at so, this stage. So, Ochami, are you saying, and, and, and be open about it, that you don't really care. I mean, you've seen social media reactions with the, or to the pictures. Some complimentary, some scathing criticism. At 47, you don't okay. care. I, at 48. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. Not you don't? At not, not at all. all. You not moved at all. past those no, days. <laughs> not at all. I, I moved past that seven years ago. Wow. I stopped worrying about what people think of what I've done a long time ago. Are you comfortable exposing... Of course, your manhood and everything out there, social, you know, like to the public, <laughs> you know, but glare. Well, well like when we go to the beach, what do we wear? Wow. Boxer shorts. Some have and said it's not right. Do and then people, people see us. Plus, why are we so attached to our concept of body? I am not this body. Mm -hmm. Me, when you say Kwame, I am not this body. I am the way I interact with people. I am the relationship between you and I. This relationship that has lasted over 30, 30 years. years yeah. And you and I have never, mm. you know, done wrong against it. That is what we are. You know, I am the love. So you don't life. have a problem somebody coming to your house and seeing you in briefs or boxes? No? no not at all. Really? Not in front of your kids, you can wear your panties and... I say, I, I say my... Because this is social media. I say, exactly. It's an extension of... Exactly. So my children walk into my... My my bedroom, what my wife saying? Naked. That, don't you? No, no, not naked. Like in my box, I don't, don't you have knuckles? You know, if you could use those knuckles, you know. And but they, you are okay with it. I am because this body will die and rot and become topsoil. Come on, we are so like. Um, uh, uh, I think it's uh, Mrs. Emisata. She said that uh, in Ghana we measure in minus. Mm. You know, most of the things we measure in are in the minus. You know, because what has this body got you, you to do You think negativity anything? thrives a lot more in our society? Not just in our society. The negative energy is a more potent energy than the positive energy. Mm. This building, I mm. want to assume, is $2 million. But if I pay someone 50,000 CDs with one bulldozer, he can bring it down in 30 minutes. Mm. That is how powerful the negative energy is. But that is not why I wore my boxer shorts that way. Mm. Because my boxer shorts are also made with coconut fiber fiber that we have to throw away, which is going to end up in the sea. That's what we are recycling to make the boxer shorts. And between that concept of sustainability, mm. comfort, mm. creating something, setting up a factory, employing people. You think market, that should be the bigger picture? I think that one should dominate Ochi, Ochi, over Kwame, so you, you, Yes, you, 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 you say here and now that you have no regrets being the model for your boxer shorts. I am actually happy. I was so happy. I'm, I was so happy about the the, 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 the content Con of the, it was funny wasn't it was your, interesting. your wife disturbed any family member no, go, you go on my wife's page she's posted it she, you know she posted the thing mm. so she called me she said uh send me um a, a caption i sent her the caption she posted it on my page so it because my wife knows who i am mm. i am not that body okay i am something more than just how's the body. business business is green Business is great. Yeah, business is great. It's doing right. good. It's good. Because, so mm -hmm. go please ahead. speak. Go ahead, go ahead. I was saying that because we are still alive, mm. we are still creating, we are diversifying, we are learning, we are making mistakes, destroying businesses, building new ones. You know, I think that life is going exactly as God has planned for me. And as you plan and coordinate it, so it is for you. Exactly. Because a lot of the 90% of the things that I plan, mm. then I do, do not come to pass. 
90 percent yeah more maybe more than 90 but it doesn't change anything because i'm not the one responsible for bringing the rain mm. <laughs> the moon the sun other people all nine billion of us each one of us is trying to plot a strategy and move to it you know so even if i can get one percent of my ideas activated in one day at a time mm. i'm grateful you're grateful and happy exactly you're two years shy of half a century in life What's your secret to being lean, strong, and young? Wow, big question. This is the type of question I, I, when I answer, I get into trouble. <laughs> no, say it. That's it. Yes. So, so I think that the, that I, I, I see my, my person to be in four different layers. So that's my body, that's my emotions, that's my brain or my mind and my spirit. Hmm. So to be able to be healthy, I think that uh, WHO says... A healthy person is one that has balance in all these areas, four, four areas. Yeah. So for me, I, I, what do I do to my body? The body was made to move. So I move. I work out every morning. I work out behind, behind your house. That's right. Uh, yes. So I work out every morning. I've worked out every morning for over 20-something years. Wow. Yeah. Every morning. Yes, mm. usually. Yes, uh, maybe five times out of the week. Correct. I work out at least two hours a day. Mm. I walk 15 kilometers a week. And then I, yes, I 50 every week. That one I, I don't miss. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't eat much. So for the body, it's movement and diet. Movement and, and diet. diet. So what okay. do I put inside me? I, I don't eat too much. I eat twice a day. You I eat, eat twice a day? Yes. Is I it eat. morning, afternoon, morning, evening, so afternoon, evening? What I eat it? afternoon, evening. So you don't eat in the morning at no, all? No, not. But I stop research, eating. And of course, I mean, scientists will tell you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I, Are you disputing that? I, I think that the, it was for marketing. It was a U.S. So marketing not for, true. for consumerism. Ah. Everybody has a different body. Mm. But what you see, we base a lot of the things that we do on how our forefathers and our foremothers lived. My grandfather was a farmer. He had to wake up in the morning and walk seven kilometers to the farm. Weed carry produce, bring it back home, and then before eat, it, mm -hmm. and before he goes to hunt at night. So he needed a lot of carbohydrate. He needed okay. a lot of energy. So he and he gets must, to burn that exactly. As, mm. But I am living in air condition with a driver with this mm. one. Why do I need to ingest so much food? So I I, I do uh, intermittent fasting. Okay. So I eat my last meal at five. Okay. And don't eat again until twelve or eleven the next day the next morning until 12 or 11 the next so morning in all of this i believe also i mean we're talking about optimal health here yes and that's key yes i always tell people that it is also important what about water and dehydration I, how does that play in the mix i drink water i drink i drink a lot of water i try mm. to get at least five between five to eight um bottles, bottles. small is bottles it a 500 a ml bottles yeah. yes a, a day a day I, I i put two in the car and then whilst I'm in town, I try to drink water because I, about seven years ago, I had a lot of pain in my back. And my doc, my chiropractor said it's because I don't drink a lot Ooh. of water, you know. So from that time, I started drinking a bit But you're water. also the same person on record to have said that drinking more water could cause dehydration. Yes. How so? Because, you see, then we are going into the question of electrolytes. So what is it? What is why, why do you drink water? You are drinking water so that oxygen can go into your cells and then it will go into your brain so that you, you function optimally. How does these minerals go into your cells? They go into your cells through a certain, a certain thing called electrolytes. And this electrolyte is able to absorb the water when there's a certain percentage of salt in your system. So it is post sodium, potassium, and another one. So if you are ingesting water, drinking water, drinking water, and it's demineralized water, so there are two types of water. There's mineralized no. water okay. mm -hmm. and demineralized water. Demineralized water is the one that they've taken all these things out of it. So which one is the al al alkaline water with potassium and all of that? Exactly. So, okay. uh -huh. so if you are drinking demineralized water, mm. what you are doing is sending the water that's already in your system into for you to urinate it and sweat it out. Wait, Oshami, you are confusing us. The way you are taking it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take it. Yeah. Let's take it. You because I, I just simple answer. How do you reconcile the two? One person, you drink almost about seven bottles or six bottles a day. Same breath, you said water is not good because it causes dehydration. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I was talking about a person mm -hmm. at my at, after 40 years who works out okay. two hours every day. Mm. So when once you work out, 
you perspire. That's right. And through that sweat, you lose a lot of minerals. Correct. So if you are my age and you work out that much and you check and you do not have BP issues, mm. then you are taking that, a lot of water. Mm. And then you're taking it. I'm saying that for the first water that you drink in the morning after your workout, mm -hmm. Put in a little bit of Celtic salt, salt. for mm. rejuvenation. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And then I went on to say that, however, there's this big myth that everyone should drink a lot of water. water. Otherwise, mm. you become dehydrated. But drinking too much, much water, water can also dehydrate you if it is demineralized right. water. Okay. okay, so now you are clarifying it and, 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 and you are putting it in context. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What I did, what I failed to say mm. was that. If you have BP issues, okay. because some of the people with BP might, it might be related to sodium okay. intake and the levels of sodium in your body. body. You know, so if you go and have the salt in breaking e down. Exactly. Okay. However, okay. if you are like me mm. and you are my age and going, of course, I, when I was saying that, whenever I do that, whenever I put maybe half a teaspoon of not every salt, Celtic okay. salt. salt or Himalayan salt mm. in my first glass of water in the morning. I feel great. Okay. I feel okay. great. So I was talking about how I have stayed young. So, so bringing it back is movement, which is exercise, mm -hmm. dieting, not eating too much, right, and also making sure that I go to sleep on an empty stomach. Interesting. So, so you go to bed on an empty stomach. Yes. That's what has helped you to keep this form exactly. structure and be that young. So, so that is that is for the body and for mm -hmm. the emotions. Mm -hmm. I try my best to build emotional resilience what people are saying on social media fight observing my children the grades they bring when you must really no no not at all because it is not my life i try to insulate myself from all the external stimuli. But Chami, that is where people will also have a problem with you because then they feel that you you are far removed from reality and society and you don't want to bond because if you you care less of what people will say whether it's an advice, whether it's positive, you just don't want to know. No, it's because I do not want to subscribe mm. the quality of my happiness to an external stimuli. Mm. Whether someone says, oh, Chami, you are very handsome, you have six pack, mm. yay. Then the next day, someone oh, Chami, you are ugly, you are a fool. Mm. If I'm doing that, then it means I have given the power of my happiness to other yep. people. And you and don't no, want there's to. There's not a single person on earth. Who deserves to hold the power of how I feel? Not even your wife. Nobody, not my mother, not my child. Nobody wow. deserves to be remote controlling really? my emotions. Hmm. I think that's not a very smart thing to do. When people say, oh, Chami, you are handsome, you are happy. Mm. You are ugly, then you are sad. And then you are depressed. Then, So if they realize that this is how you are being manipulated, then they there use it against, against you. you. Exactly. Interesting mix there. But uh, talking about you being depressed, and have you ever suffered depression? Yes, I have. Oh, you went through a phase yes, of depression. Which year was this? I think may maybe 2016, between 2016 and what 2017. What happened? So I, I, I was 39. I was turning 40. Mm. And I, I had written um, I'd written an article on Ghana Web, My Fear of the Big Four Zero. So almost everything that I feared, mm. that I will lose my audience share, and then I'm going to be old, my ideas will be old. How am I even to find out what's this, the new zeitgeist, what are young people listening to, and observing that the average age of the Ghanaian is between 21 to 27. It's, um, it's a youth-driven mm. Africa today. You know, so I am thinking, hmm, I'm going to lose it. Because I remember when I was much, much younger, I used to ask my mom, how old are you? She said 40. I said, when you knew, you know, so I was, So I the was, fear of approaching 40. Yes. Got you depressed. Yes. And then it wow. brought to bear all the things that I had, I had there. Uh, so it's not just the, the fear of just the 40 mm. and the manifestation of what I was afraid of. Now going to organize an event, people are not coming. Mm. But I, I put out this single DJ. Because you didn't thought play. you face out. Exactly. So because I was a friend, and at that time, you know that the, the work that we do is based on the social validation system. Mm. How many Instagram likes did you get? How many Followers people you follow have? you? Mm. on? How, how many people liked? How many people shared? And business investors are interested in those figures and saying that your worth is based on that external validation. Mm. You know, so stupid as I was, I made it get to me. Another thing was that I had invested a lot of money 
in a business which was related to my I don't want to mention the No, figures. no, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, it's your I, show. And we need to know, learn yeah. the, the positives and the negatives. Yes. I mean, get to know. I'd invested a lot, of, a, a lot of money in my in my career that didn't work, you know. So I put in, out in what? some... In, in the music, I oh. put out billboards. I, I did this. I did a rebranding. In 2016? Yes. I remember, yeah, you were rebranding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then it didn't work. Wow. You know, so... You lost a lot of money. Yes, I, I did. I Over did. a million? No, maybe about $80,000. $80,000? Exactly. Gone down the drain. Exactly. So that one plus the shows not coming plus my fear of the forty mm. plus. Mm. So it's the, the the is it the cock came home to roost. So all the little things. So so I felt inadequate. I felt I'm nothing. Mm. I am a nobody. And why? Because when I was a child, I used to deal with a problem of dyslexia. Dyslexia. Yeah. That's why I started talking about it. Mm. So because I could not read and write. It, even almost around 10, teachers will beat me. I, I can't come home to say because my parents have sanctioned. They the thought you were daft, you were exact, just not bright. Exactly. Oh, no. bong, bong, and then they'll put, so I used to go to school scared. You know, that nonsense thing that they do, dictation, uh, mathematics, two, one, two, pa, 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 pa. you know, so I used to be scared. I, In I, your formative years. Yes. You know, so all of those things came to us. So it was what the scientists call depression mm. in spirituality is a spiritual awakening mm. where you get the opportunity to meet everything that you are afraid of oh, me, Kwame, how did you handle that phase 39 approaching 40 you've lost 80,000. your music the fear of the unknown branding gone wrong for how many months did you have to go through this phase? I, I went through it for a whole year so a i for year. a whole year so i what i did was i didn't pick my calls I put my phone somewhere else. Did but it affect your marriage? Oh, to a, to an extent. But you see, that's why I, I praise my wife so much because she understood me. Mm. You know, so she say she will pick me up and call my doctor friends. Bless her. She take me to the hospital. We spoke to doctors. They gave me two medicines. They for gave a whole me, year. Yes, they gave me Amedin five and Crestor. One for bad cholesterol. Wow. One for BP. Mm. So my my blood pressure used to flat to go up go down go so you, are, you are hovering around what 150 150. Oh, 158 something what you know so the last time i went to kolebu to see i think it's dr Srebo. Yes. yes i went of the cardio uh, yeah, exactly the, cardio. the last time he saw my my values he was shocked he said ah, I crack it right and I would oh. you know so it, it also gave me a chance to rest mm. that's why the thing is called depressed deep rest <laughs> you know it's time for you to rest it's time for you to meet your fears so everything my, my the fears of my childhood the pitfalls in the music industry everything came up and then for a year i dealt with it and it was after i dealt with it that i did the made in ghana album interesting what yes. a revelation yes, yes god yes, bless yes. your wife Anika. thank you thank you Wow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. How, how did you meet your wife? Oh, <laughs> so I had gone to Love FM in Kumasi for okay. an interview, All right. and uh, you know there's a there's a, a law firm. There was a law firm down there. Okay, so I think she had gone there to go and try to work because she had finished law school. Okay, and so I met her there, and the the rest is history. Wow. Yeah, that's where we. So I I told her that I like you. She said I like you too. Just there, spot right there. on. You right told there. her. I said, I like you. She said, I said, do you know? You were not in a relationship because that oh, time no, you were no. popular. You were out there. Yes. You had the women. Yes. So I asked her, do you know? But do you know? Oh, who you I asked her, do, do you know? And then she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. And then so I said, I like you. She said, I like you too. Wow. I said, if you are going for an interview, you can wait for me for one hour. I'll drop you home. One of born young. Every day I go for. Home. <laughs> you know. So she waited, wow. and then I took her home. And then she said, oh, no man has ever brought me home before, so can you come and say hi to my dad because he's upstairs? Wow. You know, so I went to would, say Would hi. you say that was love at first sight? I, I don't know if love at first sight is possible. It's not? You I don't, don't, I don't, you don't know. believe in that. You don't I, believe I, in I, that. I don't know. I, I don't know if it is possible. But I've loved her since, and it's been 19 years. Wow. You know, from that time, we've been, we've been um, inseparable. But I don't know what I felt for her at that time because it was her hips I was looking at. Oh, it was her hips. <laughs> yes. Were you going for a one night stand, or you no. really knew? I mean, no. just deep down within that, you knew that this would be my wife. I mean, this is my I wean, wife. I mean, like a proper mm -hmm. defini I can't definition of Akitesia. That's right. Nwesi, See. You know, she wore a nice black dress Fantastic. from her neck. I mean, you couldn't even see her. No, show your stomach. No. At, at that time, no, Mimi. because I think it was a Monday or Wednesday wow. or something, you know. And her hips were begging to come out of that dress. <laughs> so I'm like, 
time. So I said, if you are half as cultured as you look beautiful, wow. I'm going to marry you. You said that to the, her? Same guy. So I said, you are oozing class. <laughs> and then she said, Akwaiti Brofo. <laughs> so that was it. Yes. And so we became friends and I, we became inseparable from that time. But she told you why she said yes to that proposal, right? But oh, what did yes, she yes, yes, yes. She, she said that she 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 already liked Ochiame Kwame. And her mother mm. told me that when she was in high school, she said that Achiame, I'm going to marry the slim one. But to, till today, she says it, it doesn't happen. Her mother told you her that. Her mother told me that when she was wow. young, that your she, wife. Every time I I'll come on TV with Kofi, she hmm. would say, this is my husband. But wow. till today, she said it she never did. happened. <laughs> <laughs> so like they say, dreams do come true, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So that's Be positive about what you want and go for it. Yes. Interesting. Yes, so you, you've, been, you've been with her for 19 years. Yes, for 19 years. But you, you actually stoked some controversy when you came out to say that when one has sex outside of their marriage or relationship, they cheat on themselves. And not, not their partners. Your really? You can't, you can't cheat. You can't cheat on your, your spouse. You can't cheat on your spouse. Not not at all. You cheat on yourself. For example, hey, I've been, yeah, I've been with Annika for 19 years. Mm -hmm. If I see another beautiful woman, I go and sleep with her. And that have you done that? Never. Okay. And that have way. you looked at another woman and said, Well, I all, wish. The, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've seen women and you say, or, Oh, or even sometimes when I've traveled, my wife sees women on social media and, and sees them and takes pictures and send me with your life. Ah. Oh, your wife? Oh, shows yes, yes. Oh, oh, all the time. Ah. All the time. Wow. All the time. But so you cheat with yourself, think, not the person. You can't cheat on me. If a person is really enlightened mm -hmm. and that person has fallen in love with himself. To know that no matter you, it, he doesn't need your validation or your relationship or your attachment or your codependency for him to identify himself as pure. That you can't cheat on that person because so, you so cheat yourself. So if your yourself. wife goes out there and people say, "Oh wow, well, your wife," I mean, we're just saying she's cheated on you. You will not take it personal. No, no, no. She has cheated on herself, on herself out of my trust, out of my respect, and now I see her as an Ashawo girl. Wow. But. For me to take and drink poison or jump off because a cliff of her. because of she has gone to feel good somewhere else. She's premeditated this, sent test messages to her boyfriend, decided, booked a hotel, hmm. gone to do the thing, and then he he hidden it for me. And I find I jump out of the window. I'm a dumb, stupid fool. <laughs> Never. Will you leave the relationship or marriage? It depends. If my wife goes to sleep with someone else and mm. comes to say, Chami, can you believe what we were doing this project with this guy and for some strange reason I liked him and you know what? We kissed and we had sex. If she tells me that, you not I, I will love her for the rest. Of, I will increase really? the amount of... Why? Hey, Chami, Kwame, if your wife should tell you that she went to cheat, she was doing this, uh, why? Because then now I know that I am in a relationship with an honest human being. <laughs> what, what a way now, to test honesty and loyalty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because now, then, now I know. So but if, if you should go and do the same and you come and confess to her, you want her to forgive you uh, because uh, you've been uh, honest, brutally frank, or charming. I, I don't know what she would do, but I think she'll forgive me. Wow. Because I don't think my wife would throw away 19 years of built culture, history, orientation, goal, children, copulation. The fact that I went to copulate with somebody and I've come to say, and I've made a promise that it will happen. As I'm with my wife, we fault each other all the time. And you say and sorry. I say sorry. So once, and I once you're able to say sorry and you, 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 you're able to move on, that should be fine. Well, uh, once because I, the person has been honest. Once I am able to say sorry and she is able to move on, wow. then we can but go you back will, to the But you will move on. Completely. Completely. A health survey recently released by the Ghana Statistical Service indicates that two in every 10 married Ghanaian men have skipped the marital bed for some extra marital affairs. What, what do you make of this? I think that is a cultural thing. Oh, I it's think, cultural? Yeah, I think that every single mama, or maybe 99% of all mammals have multiple sexual partners. And when I'm looking at these phenomena as a social scientist, I don't only look at the society. I'm not very anthropocentric mm. when I'm looking at uh, f human phenomena. I also try to go and look at apes, whose DNA is 99%, you know, closest to ours. Yeah. So the apes, do they have extra marital, uh, extra sexual affairs? Yes. And therefore... But that's, that, that's why we have the holy books too, whether it's the Bible, the Quran, and all of... Yes, the Quran will allow you to have, you know, multiple or four wives, like they say, but they also feel that there's some 
set of ethics, morality guiding us. That's why we are higher beings. Uh, see, that's, yeah. that's why I'm saying. So when, oh, you you say, mm -hmm. when you say we are higher beings, the Indians call it the Atman, mm. the, 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 the perfect self, okay. the higher self. That's why I was saying that I group my, my person into four. The body, the, the emotions, mm -hmm. the mind, the spirit. spirit. At the body level, copulation is natural. Dogs copulate, cows, mosquitoes, butterflies, everything. They all do multiple sets. At the emotional level, it feels good because the chemical reaction is happening. Oxytocin, everything is bubbling. Mm. You want to see your side chick. At the mind level, it doesn't make sense. Because, because your body and your emotions are craving mm. for a side chick, mm. you are going to destroy this amazing thing you have with your 20-year-old wife yeah. and kids, mm. and now she's mm. going to leave mm. you and right. affect your brand. At the mind, mind level, level. At, at the, the spirit. spiritual level, where everything is in union, where everything is one, you do unto others what, what you, you want, want others mm. to do unto you. So mm. it depends on which of the planes you are. Okay. So if you are in your body and your emotions, that's why I you are being emotional. Right. If you are there, you can have multiple sexual partners. But if you are in your mind, you should know that unless your partner has subscribed to the fact that you have the right to do it, you've done maybe a customary marriage, mm. you've done a Mohammedan or an Islamic marriage, and then your partner has been raised or nurtured to accept that polygamy is culturally accepted and that she is not going to be broken hearted Hearted, yeah. and become depressed. Then so, so when is that? You don't have a problem at all. So with the survey, you feel that that's... The I, natural I, order of things. I, I think it's more than two. Oh, it's more I, than think, two. I think it's more you than twenty percent. The statistical service should oh, come again. Oh, there should be. They, they, I think it's like seventy percent or sixty percent or maybe fifty-two. <laughs> I don't. Think. And plus, I also think that the women also do the same. The oh, women, the women also have um, they multiple just, partners. They just know how to hide. Oh, so the women can better handle that or deal with that than men. Yeah, because so a man is is is, is maybe most likely. To, to be, be caught, caught. yes, cheating, yes, because than when, the woman. Because when a woman is caught um, with infidelity, mm. the society calls her a shawo. She loses her husband. And, but, but if I know of a situation where a, a, a man, man went to have a child outside mm -hmm. the home, and the wife ran away to her parents, her parents sent her back. I said, "Sign it, tell me the over court." You know, so the, they are, it's not the same. Mm. They, so because of um, the punitive measures that the society puts on a woman they if they are going to do it and they the try social to, backlash exactly as well, they certainly. try they know how to hide it a bit more than us interesting with time reading some 20 minutes to hit eight it's getting interesting and hot yes, in yes, here yes, yes, and yes. it's going to get hotter <laughs> that i can tell you but let's talk about your distinct fashion sense or, or, or i mean afrocentric to be exact i saw you at the launch of osibo oh, that's uh, <laughs> zaman you yes. know clothing line and all of that and what you wore some praised you. Others said, oh, why do you expose parts of your body and all of that? What informed that? To be honest, there's this um, designer in Kumasi. It's actually at uh, Medjusso. Okay. I think not your regular tailor. Mm. So my, my Annika again, you know, spoke to him, said, you know, Kwame can't wear anything. Come up with something. So Annika said, oh, something that's, you know, daring. Something that is so half, half a, a kaftan. <laughs> give him a kaftan that's divided into two so i you know so they brought it to me i thought it was quite interesting and i i kept it for the right you know i've had it for over a year i kept it for the right occasion and you know a seboy is also very daring that's right you know very daring so when i was going to an osebo event i said this is a great opportunity to wear this crazy outfit of mine <laughs> it, the the fact is that i i do not value this body at like that anymore oh you don't value your body anymore this, this it is the body it is no it is it is the ego it wants recognition it wants sex it mm. wants food mm. it's it is the body oh, tell me, are, are you it. not in, the, in, in 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 a realm or maybe a spiritual <laughs> plane that maybe people say well, he's in a different world don't you, don't you I, think I, so? I, I, why shouldn't i be in a different world i'm in a different world because the, 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 I think who said this? Is it Picasso? Picasso said that the, for the first half of a man's life, he tries to be an adult. Mm. And for the second half of his life, he tries to be a child. Children are in their magnetic, magnanimous, you know, fantasy worlds. Yeah, but and people are saying at your age, maybe cover up some more. Oh, do this. The, this when, is I, the, yeah. when I cover up, how does that affect the current uh, 
<laughs> the current economic <laughs> problems in Ghana. How, how does that I cover? You are, you are a role model, so they feel that you can do better. What do you I, think? I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm wearing my clothes and someone else is at home thinking, you wear the one that's good for you. Let me wear the one that is good for me. How is this difficult to understand? I have not come to, to, to tell you how to wear your clothes. Mm. I have not forced you. I have not come to comment under your thing at your age. Look at what you are doing. Mm. This is what I want Are you to saying, do. live your life, let me live mine? Pe, pe, pe. We'll go for a, a short commercial <laughs> break. Yes, but before, before that, let, let's talk about your music. Getting into music, you, you started from primary school? Is yes. that what it is? Yes, please. I started at class one. Class one? Yes. So you started music? Yes. Tell us about that. Walk us so, through that history. So, so my mother, um, who was a teacher, introduced me to a can poems. Beautiful. Is it I mean seventy? I mean seventy. Yes, right. beautiful account poems. And so I would recite these poems and then I'll go from house to house reciting and people give me money. And I remember I was five. I remember that the satisfaction that this oratory, you know, gave me gave me a certain sense that when I grew up I I was going to do something with speech. You know, and because I was dyslexic and I felt so low whenever I went to school. Just before, somebody just sent me this one. Abna sent me this one and says that you, you in your box, I say, we've been a I don't know what I've got you. You know, read your comments. I, I, read know what some you <laughs> I read some of them. I think it's funny. It's, I think it's funny. Plus, it's also. I say, dear, we've been a musician. <laughs> Continue. Go you ahead. know, so, but when couple that felt, I knew the only thing that I could do right. Right. As, as, as a child was was recite poetry mm. and because i felt so hollow at school because i couldn't i was the one coming my real last in class right. the poetry became my escape route oh exactly and that was the only time so the only time there was poetry at school or then there was that was the time that i could shine mm. so i put all my energies in that time and then fast forward to secondary school when i came to learn Chaucer, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. just Jia Oh, so I mean, you did literature in I school? I did literature in school. You went to Form 1 to Upper 6? Yes, I, yes, I went to Form 1 to Form 5. Form 5. I did mm -hmm. arts. Okay. And then, uh, yes. Form, sixth form. Sixth form. I did uh, geography. So government. secondary school was where for you? For Anglican secondary school. Anglican secondary school. Secondary school. Yes, sixth I form I was where? Yes, I did SDA for sixth form. SDA. Yes. So you did literature? Yes. You did Shakespeare? Yes, I did. You didn't read Macbeth? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yes. You remember some of the lines? Yeah, tomorrow, 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 as we creep in this petty pace from day to day to the mm. last syllable of recorded time. That's right. Out, out, brief candle. Ah. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that strikes and frees his hours upon the stage and his head no more. You remember this the, is a you tale yes. told by an idiot. Full of sounds and fairy. Oh, <laughs> you remember Macbeth uh, with the uh, three witches? When yes. shall we three meet again? In thunder, in lightning, <laughs> or in rain? Yes. When the heli belly is done, when the battle is lost and won, that will be the air set of the sun. I come, grey mountain, paddock calls, fair is foul and foul is fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> in one. No, literature is a beautiful it's thing. It's beautiful. Mm. So I came to realize that, and this is around 91, when wow. hip-hop music had become the gem, and everyone was catching the fever. You know, so I came to realize that this rap thing that we are hearing from urban New York mm -hmm. is nothing but poetry in motion. Wow. So I added my poetry to the motion, and then I started rapping. Mm. You know, so when I started, my father didn't agree at all. And so we would fight about it. I would lie to him that I'm going to learn, and then I'll go to City Hotel to rap, <laughs> and then he would catch me, and it would be a fight. And this went on for many years. Your family... They wanted you to be a medical doctor. Yes. Did I you, don't did know you, how. Did you rebel, would you say? N yes, I did. Because my father saw the potential. My father always said that you are so intelligent. But if you just sit down, what I was going through, my inability to learn math and English and those things, he thought that I grow woman is so because I was too playful. Mm. But the play was my passion. Creative. Okay. My, exactly. For wow. life. I, I've come here to a play. And that is a very important, you know, subject that we should actually tackle. Do you feel and think that many parents, they get it wrong? So they want this person to be your role model. They want you to be that lawyer, that fashion designer, that, that, that banker. Because Pepe. they feel that, well, that is your uncle. It runs in the family. Do you think that parents Pepe. should take their time to... To observe, observe. I have two children. Okay. My son, when he was seven, wanted to go to moon. He wanted to be a, a scientist. Oh. So. 
And then at a point, it changed. He wanted to be a soldier. Mm. And at a point, it changed. Now he wants to be a neuroscientist. Would you have allowed him to be a soldier? Oh, completely. Okay. Completely. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that many would say, no, don't go into the army. Oh, don't go into the police service. Don't become, you know. Uh, my brother, when people from Togo and Ivory Coast decide to attack Ghana right now, everybody will be saying that the soldiers ready whose children <laughs> yes. are to go into the mm. army to protect so you will allow your son to as long as whatever he's doing is not criminal mm. i mean look at what i'm doing at my age we think i'm going to restrict my children from being happy from expressing themselves no way parents should do that i'm telling now he is in um in high school okay he is doing his um a levels and he's just about to finish to go to the university and he's doing biology, chemistry, um, psychology. And, but I see that my son likes to argue. He just went to this thing that they do in the secondary schools okay. to win many awards. All right. So I'm asking him, have you considered law? law? Oh. Have you considered to be a psychologist? But he wants have to be a neuroscientist. Because, uh, see, he's a child. Or that's surgeon, that's also where, where I was mm. going. Every two weeks, it changes. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it has as a guardian okay. or a shepherd it's my responsibility to guide, guide. him Fantastic. to for him to explore all his you know his brain's powers mm. so that he doesn't grow up to say oh i wanted to be a, a doctor because i knew so if he comes to you free. tomorrow and says i want to be a boxer you will allow it i mean no i won't let my son box <laughs> Oh, why? 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 Because the 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 raw. Uh, but you said allow them. The, the raw material for boxing is personal strength. My son has none. <laughs> <laughs> and that note, we'll go for a break. When we come back, it's a Chami Kwame right here on Star Chat. This is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret, hmm, he said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. Shout! I signed on immediately. <laughs> To enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244-308-111 for more information. We are good together everywhere you go. Charlie, Chairman is still no here. What at all could be the issue? Calm down. I'm sure you'll be here soon. Oh, guys, 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 sorry I'm late. Could you bab me for road? Sick of my insurance expire. Some long <laughs> issue, Charlie. <laughs> ah, chairman, pal. Hey, you make Koti bab you sick of you forget to renew your car insurance when you can get your car insurance sticker instantly on Aptel. And best of all, you can set a reminder to renew. Simple matter. Just install the app, enter your car number, and... La la, your instant insurance sticker is there. Oh, really? Make I do them now before I forget. But, and the move, and the move, and the move, and the move, insurance sticker need the move one time. I can even renew it every month. Wow. Charlie, 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 as for this one, today, as usual, the sitting is on me. Visit hoptel.com slash app to download your hoptel app and set a reminder to renew your car insurance today. Hoptel is everything you. Hello, Linda. You won't believe what I am planning next. I want to start my postgraduate degree, buy a car, and build my dream home. But you know what's stopping me? What's that, Mike? Money, oh. That'd be my 
big as wahala. Oh, you are sort of cra. With a GCB Big Move personal loan promo, you can borrow up to a whopping 400,000 Ghana CDs at a significantly reduced interest rate in less than 24 hours. Like, seriously? How do I qualify? Yes, it's available to all GCB salary account holders. Plus, you get a two-month grace period before you start to pay back. Stop, get. I'm opening an account with GCB. No, no, no. Get a personal loan of up to 400,000 Ghana CDs at a significantly reduced interest rate in less than 24 hours. Call 0800-422-422 or visit your nearest GCB branch today to fund your next big move as we celebrate 70 years of greatness. T's and C's apply. GCB Bank, your bank for life. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret? Hmm. He said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. Shout! I signed on immediately. <laughs> to enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244-308-111 for more information. We are good together. Welcome back. It's the number one show. You know it. Every Thursday evening. You can't miss this one. The Star Charts. Simply the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jamie. I'm having an amazing time. <laughs> I can tell. I'm going to get into a lot of trouble tomorrow. <laughs> Already you are trending with some of the things that you've said. But you're saying that, look, you're just saying it as it is, without yes. fear or favor. Pepe, pepe. Speaking your truth. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So, what were on your children? And we're talking about, you know, career path and how you will guide them and all of that. So your son is actually going to change, but you want him to read law now. Yeah. So how, how old is he? He's, in, he, he's 14. 14. Yeah, and already he's, he's in A level. Uh, yes, at that right, time. He's right. A level, set form, I mean, upper six, he should be around maybe 17, 18. 18, 19. Yes. So your son is 14. Yes. How come 14 years and so, he's. So he skipped, he skipped the whole of middle school. He skipped the whole of middle school. Yes, and you have a genius in the family of Chami yeah, Kwame. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Thank you. And and he did, he's done his O levels already. He's doing his A levels in May, and so when he's done, mm. then if so I he's want, going to the university at fifteen. Yes, but I I I, I have a funny if he goes to school in Ghana, mm. you know, if he goes to school in Ghana, I'll let him go at fifteen because then he will be at Legon Tech or Ashesi. Yeah. Know. Then we can observe him. But if he's going to school outside Ghana, okay. I'll wait maybe two more years before, before I let him go. Before let him yeah. go. Yeah. Interesting. I want him to be a bit more developed. Because education is not just IQ. Mm. EQ is also important. It's, it's important. Yes. It's important. And of course, the emotional intelligence and all of that uh, yes. comes to play. So let's talk about the music industry here in Ghana. Yes, we're, we were tracing it. You talked about your formative years during you know, high school, university days. Hip life, is it dead or alive? Big question. Big question. <laughs> Big question. Is hip life I, dead or alive? <laughs> or I, 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 don't have, I don't have a straightforward answer. You, you are uh, a hip lifer or you, yes. you feel that you've the, metamorphosed into... No, no, the fact that I don't have a straightforward answer means that... It's uh, suffering. It is suffering. Is it in coma? It, I think that for every, for every genre to, to be able to stay alive, there must be a, a group of young people who are interested in carrying the torch to the next young generation. And for hip life, we don't have that. So people like myself failed mm. the young people completely. So you think that people like your good self, yes. you have failed the young generation? Completely. 
because when I took on the mantle of hip life in 1996, mm. the last thing that I knew was anthropology or sociology right. or marketing or, you know, I didn't know. Now social media is coming and uh, the, the dynamics. Yes, I didn't know that I was supposed to carry this art form to a point and mm. give it to someone else. I didn't oh. have an idea. Okay. So I just carried it and, and did what I, I could with it. And then when I came to the consciousness that this thing that we are doing, this is not how it's done. Mm. You know, Jay-Z will, will uh, Big Daddy Kane will carry it to a point and give it to Jay-Z. Jay-Z Jay will give right. it to another person. Mm. Another person will give it to Kanye. Kanye will, you know, that is how we keep it moving. But I You didn't guys know. didn't do that? No, 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 no. Well, is, it, I, is, it, I, is it only you or your generation? We can talk about Reggie Rockstone, Rutai. We can talk Sammy B. I mean, Kwasi and all of that. You failed the, the young generation. Is that, so for me, whenever I'm, I'm making these statements... I want my, my sample space to be one, me. You. Okay. So I don't get into trouble. But okay. for me, I feel that I didn't do I didn't do enough to to create the next hip life generation you, to you, carry you, the torch. You, you've said that hip life is in coma. Who is the originator of hip, hip life? Is, is it Mahoney P? Is, is, is it is, is it Jedu Blay Ambole? Is it Reggie Rockstone? Who's the originator oh, of Oh, I think, I think that there's no argument is Reggie Rocks. Because Mahoney... Hands down. Hands down. Mahoney mm. P did rap. He called it... He called it hip-hop in gangsterdom. Okay. So Mahoney... I used to go to Mahoney P's house in 92 to go and... Sit, in Amsterdam? No, in, in Kumasi. In whenever Kumasi. I, you, okay. you know, he was from... Uh, oh, is it Akwemu? I've forgotten the place. So whenever he comes to Kumasi, his... Um, Dia, the footballer. Okay. Emmanuel, well, Emmanuel Dia. Emmanuel was his brother. Okay. You know, so he will come to his house and then we will go and, and wake up there in the morning. Wow. You know, and then he will listen to our music and give, and critique it. What he called his music was not hip life. J.W. Ambule's music was rhythmized speeches on high life music. Reggie Rockstone, Zap Mallet, and all the people in Ibrahim Ohini, Jan, mm. they, they created the hip life. So Reggie life Rockstone, so, for the record, is the father of hip life, the com originator of it. Completely. I mean, no... Nobody should even contest it. Who else? Who, of course, Azigiza and all those people had mm. made rap songs, but it was not hip life. They didn't call it hip life. Oh. I, Ochami Kofi and myself started making tree rap music in 1991. Before Reggie Rockstone? Five years before Reggie Rockstone. See, when Reggie Rockstone came, mm. he had other rappers like um, Rutai singing, Rutai, tree rap, and yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that they, they were not rapping before Reggie put them on the record? So everybody was rapping. But Reggie but Rockstone Reggie called it... Hip life. <clears throat> and then he made a hip. And he gave it so much life that people like myself decided to join, join. him. You know, are, so you, are you the best rapper alive, Ochami Kwame? I think so. I think, I think it is um, very... When I, when, I, when I look at people who also know how to rap pa, in Ghana, like EL, okay. like um, now... Um, Sakodia is not even now. Oh, so Sakodia is not part of the no, 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 he knows how to rap. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk about the this current, current okay. the current young generation like okay. Amrado mm. and uh, what's There's this? There's a guy from Kumasi. Lyrical Joe. Lyrical Joe. Strong man. Strong man. See, yeah. When I listen to what they have done or what they do, I, when I listen to their cadence and the way they tell stories and their metaphoric patterns of what they, I see that they are standing on giants. So they are standing on our shoulders to be able to do better than what we, we did. did. Okay. But artistically, you know, artistically, they can hold their... I, mean, I love to listen to Lyrical Joe. I, if you give me EL from morning till night, I'll be able to wow. enjoy EL. I love EL. Your top three rappers in Ghana will be... I, I, it will not be fair. No, no, no. So I mean, it, it will and, not be fair. And, 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 and to add, I mean, all it, it will not be, be fair. It, it will not be fair. I mean, is EL part of them? Completely. Obrafo is part of them? <laughs> you see, no, you say see. your truth. So say your truth. If, if I like, said top three, if, you, you, top you're saying at your age, you, you say it as uh, it is. Exactly. Eagle is part of them. Number two will be who? The, and it will not be in any particular yes, order. Yes, yes. But, but if three. I'm choosing your three, it will not be fair on the, on the young people. Okay, we'll do the OGs and then we'll come to the new school. OGs. Okay, so for OGs, mm -hmm. OGs like pe people my age, yeah. it will be a for myself, Reggie Rockstone. Three. Uh, yes, three. Okay. All right, the new school will be who and who. I mean, for, I, we are not mentioning Mensa mm. and uh, Kubolo. Okay. But these people can rap. Okay. That's what I'm, so for the, for, and then the mid school, mm -hmm. it will be Flo Kingstone, EL, SAC. Okay. For the new school, school. it is Amrado, 
for me, Lyrical Joe, every, each one of these young people can rap. All of them. They are all By your the three, same. you hit your chest and you say, look, these yes. three. And, and every young person rapping now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, because it will not be fair. Because but they out, are out, out of all of the, these people, you feel that you are the best rapper alive. Completely. I mean, if I didn't feel that way, mm. uh, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I wow. should stop. Wow. Why? Because I, I wake up in the morning, get in my car and drive to work because I believe I will get to work. Everything that we are doing is based on a belief system. You think that during your time you were better than Lord Kenya? Oh, it is rap. We can't compare. No, but we, I mean, we deep, can't compare. deep down, toe to toe, <laughs> right there. We can't compare because Lord Kenya had things I didn't have. Mm. He had great stage persona, right. he had height. But for calling yourself the best uh, rapper. Live. I mean, clearly, it means that and, you And then I, I had lyrics, mm -hmm. I had cadence, okay. you know, so we can't compare Lord Kenya. is uh, an enigmatic, flamboyant stage. But I am a quiet, silent, Talib Kweli, you know, speaking right. down lyrics. Right. So two different things. So I can't compare. But when I look, when I'm talking of rap, right. rap is an acronym for rhythmic, rhythmic African, African poetry. poetry. So if we say a person can rap, that person must have rhythm. Mm -hmm. And must have the Africanness mm -hmm. in the cadence. And must and be then a poet. Poetry. Okay. Exactly. So when we talk poetry, I'm talking the double entenders, the metaphors, the similes, oxymorons, all of those things might be in there. And there's none like you because you have all three. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I have all three. I have all three. Th this week we saw some OGs I mentioned yes earlier. You mentioned Jay Z and all of that. One of them was Jay Z, and I saw a post by Reggie Rockstone this morning saying that look, best new artist at the Grammys is, is over 39 years old. Best song went to a hip hop star, and he's over 40. 43. 43. You know, Killer Mike, and, and and you look at them. One of them was Jay Z. What do you make of the hip hop evolution? I mean, in close <laughs> comparison to hip life that oh, we have here in Ghana. Man, I think that it's beautiful because last year was 50 years of, of hip hop. Hip hop, mm. hip -hop and they organized events back to back, and everybody filled auditoriums from Eric B to Rakim to everybody. Big Daddy Kane, everybody, KRS One, wow. even their fathers. Wow. They they organized the thing so well. So why is that it that in Ghana you attain a certain age in music and it's oh anytime it trim oh he's gone he's fast it, it, it thirty is, years it is the, thirty five and they write the, you off it is the economy it's poverty <laughs> <laughs> it is the economy it's the economy why do I say that, me, that? So, mm -hmm. so let me let me shamefully quote uh, Karl Marx I okay. have to quote, quote some uh, African philosophers before I leave here but let me quote another European mm. he said that you can't indulge in art unless you've learned to clothe and feed yourself. Because I have never seen a hungry boy looking at the sunset and saying, ah, what a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Bola, when you are in pain, mm -hmm. when you have a broken mm -hmm. leg, mm -hmm. you, are, you don't think of any other thing than to send all the energies to heal that pain. Right. So as Africans, we have sort of relegated our economy and given it to the white man to do with it what they want. And because of that... So we don't live we, the life and appreciate the goodness. We can't enjoy the sunset. We oh. can't taste food. We can't... We, we, that's why our fashion is not going anywhere. That's why our farming is so not going anywhere. So you believe that that's why hip life couldn't survive? Oh, completely. It's the economy. It's poverty. Bread and butter issue. Yes, yes. Because if you have not... And government, whether MPP, NDC, they've not helped that industry. They, they, they have tried, they have, you know, treated it with butter fingers, done with it what they think they should have or should be doing, but it is not enough. Because it's woefully hip inadequate. Is 50. Yes, hip hop is 50. And it thrives. Why? Because the whole chain, the whole business chain, from distribution to marketing, to creativity, um, copyright management, right. lawyers, merchandise, everything is working. I know that it's not working perfectly, but it is working. But for ours, our mm. industry, for a, the industry for a musician, is just either you are a producer, you are a performer, right. or you are a, a, a video director. Can we Can turn we, this around? We should turn it around. We, we must turn it around. We must. By beginning must. with telling the truth mm -hmm. and by mm -hmm. beginning with empowering people. That's I right. see that you do this entrepreneurship That's thing. That's right. Yeah. I Empowered think what, 25 people. Yeah. Yes, I think one of these days we need to bring young rappers, I love bring that. people like myself. If, 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 if only you be a facilitator I, I, and a mentor, I'm ready to actually get you in there because yes. we need to do that. Exactly. Let's hold hands and help our youth. Exactly. And tell and tell them their mistakes. That's right. Honestly, and That's be right. honest about it. You know, so if I tell them some of the 
place I, I remember one of the few things that destroyed Achiamme completely mm -hmm. was Okreku Mante, uh, Honorable Okreku Mante was managing us. And then we fought with him in the earlier years. And then um, he said uh, he will not manage us again. And I said, album <laughs> failed. Ooh. You know, so these things, so that when young you people speak are your truth and let them know exactly when they are working with KY and working with a PhD, they know that it is a certain trajectory. He's supposed to hold your hand to a certain to point, point, and you, then you can and then you can move on where you have <coughs> tough you, wings. You, 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 you mentioned the breakup of Achiame. What really led to the breakup? The, to, so you know, we was we it are, monetary? Was it women? Was it no, what? no? The w women is not a part of it okay. at all. I think for me, it would be monetary. Okay. But it was not monetary as we were fighting over accrued resources. Right, yeah. When we returned from the U.S., you know, we went to live in the U.S. for almost three years, two and a half years. When we returned, mm. I was broke, oh. completely broke. And so I had returned with $1,000 and a plan. And I bought a, a phone, took my studio equipment from Avgo, got on a bus to go and live with my mom in Kumasi. You know, and when immediately we came, Acham Kofi found a job at Fox FM, playing the drive. Okay. But it's nice, air conditioned car. He had a studio working. Mm -hmm. And even though I also had a studio, my passion was to be front on the stage, rapping mm -hmm. and meeting my audience. And Kofi had grown to be a bit more relaxed. He wanted to produce, he wanted to sit down, do radio, do jingles, and get paid. Did you so, feel let down then? I mean, at that time, yeah. yes. But looking at it in retrospect, Spect, yeah. you know, but at the, the time, time vision you, is twenty twenty. Right. <laughs> at the time, you felt let down by your partner because he had gone out there, he was comfortable doing radio, and then you have to. And then, to so so people will come to us and say, "Let's go and let, we are paying you for a performance." Mm. And then Kofi said, "The money is small. It's true. The money is small. It's but you true. needed it. But I needed it. Ah. You know, I needed it to come out. So I didn't tell him that I was breaking off because I was angry Ooh. with him." That ah, you are my brother. I'm suffering. I'm taking trotro. I'm watching I'm a and you don't see. Let's take money so I can also buy. So you walked away welcome. without telling him. So I didn't. I didn't tell him. I didn't also walk away. I did the most disloyal thing. What did you? I do? started recording my album so without you, telling him. Without telling him. Exactly. So when he heard mm -hmm. that I was recording without him, then he also felt I had let him down. Oh, I, had, I had let him down. You know, so, so you guys were at loggerheads. So for 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 some time, you for know, how many years? You maybe five, five, six, five years. Seven, you weren't talking to each yes, other. Yes, five, six. Well, so when we meet, we're nice to each other, but we make we make sure we won't meet. <laughs> you know, so so that is a story. So I think it's more psychological, as in a boy growing to a man and finding his voice. I found my voice as a rapper. He found his voice as a producer. Any in regrets going your separate ways? Not having a charming now as it is? No, no, not at all. You don't regret no, breaking no, no, no. away from a charming? No, not at all. So, a charming Kofi has, and you've worked with him before. He's very administrative. He's mm. strong headed. Mm. He's organized. Mm. I remember that he used to write the songs that we did, most of them, not all. Okay. And then he would write it and type it out and give it to you mm. typed out. Okay. You know, that is how organized is he is. It, yeah. But and you are the you know, I am the crazy yeah. artist who just wants to live in the moment. You know, so when we broke up, it weighed a lot on me because I have to find someone to do all that administrative mm. work for me. Okay. To collect the money. So I'll go and do a performance and they will not even pay me. I'm smallish, you know, th things like that. But you can't do a show with your chairman coffee and not pay him. Okay. You know, so when we broke off, it was tough for me mm. to now as to learn all those streets and find someone to fit. But I, I, today, I, I believe that that's no where way. your wife came in handy. I know, but my wife came much in later. much later. Mm. But today, today, mm -hmm. everything that has happened in my past, okay. if you ask me to go back 20 years, I will do the same things again. You do the same thing? Uh, because if it wasn't all the stupid and the good decisions I made, I won't be talking to you today about this experience. Including your ex? Oh, I'll do every single thing again. You date Nanama McBrown again. <laughs> if if I say yes, the bloggers will twist it. No, no, no. no but you said but you I'm, saying, back. Yes, I'm saying that I will do again. every single thing again. I have done in my Including life. Including dating Nanama McBrown. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one you are saying. No, no, no. Saying. I, but you I have said that. that I will do, do everything, everything wow. that I did again, again. Okay. at the same time, mm. cause the same problems. And develop the same and resolution be here today. and be here today <laughs> with all these experiences that I'm sharing. This yes. is the this is my life as it is now. <laughs> okay. Do you want to ride? Okay. How's the economy treating your pockets? Family business? How's it? 
economy. Hmm. Economy. Yes. Well, why do I have to say it? It's it, it's tough. It's tough. Eh? It's tough. It's mm. tough. It's tough. So, um, everything tough. The figures are tough. The the lending, the, the borrowing is is, is tough for mm. Ghana. Um, and the fact that the um, creativity is not pushed. So most of the problems that we have, we, we are happy to blame politicians for it. Maybe we should blame them. Mm. But I think that most of our problems are a problem of creativity. It's a so problem you, you, of thinking. You, you think that people should blame themselves and not blame the politicians entirely, right? No, do you see, mm. um, I think Buddha said something. He said that a person that blames himself is on the path. Mm. The one that blames others is, has not started at all. But the one that blames no one has arrived. <laughs> people should blame no one or at least blame everyone. Okay. I mean, if we all do not like where Ghana is, mm -hmm. every at least I know that I am guilty okay. of some things. I know that, um, but everyone who is guilty must ah, okay. accept that we are guilty. Okay. And then the people who have come to beg us or lied to us to put them in power, they must also accept that they have made some mistakes. And then that is where repentance mm -hmm. begins. Then okay. all of us can repent together. So it's a two-way, I mean, I mean, I, I, I get you, but are you happy with the quality of leadership we have seen over the past 32 years under this fourth republic? I mean, it's Ca not just the government. The past I, 32 I, years. I am not, I am not, I do not think that the standard that Ghana is right now in terms of um, creativity, in terms of education, governance, in terms of governance, in terms of, I do not think that that we deserve to be here. If we would just exercise a bit more integrity, I think that in, there's no integrity, or I, I, no is a bit exaggerated. There is very little integrity. According to me, if the integrity Ghana needs to de to develop as a hundred, we have zero point one percent. Ghana is at zero point one. Yes, in terms of integrity. Yes, yes. There's no integrity. Transparency. There's no integrity. That's why. That's why we don't develop. Wow. Because it is the integrity I'm talking about is it comes as a as a, a matter of the feedback from from a from an observation from an uninfluenced observation. So mm. if a scientist is looking at an amoeba mm. and realize it has three legs and two eyes and seven and goes to write that it has 17 legs and because the person who has sanctioned is, yeah. the research right, yeah. has an ulterior motive mm. and therefore that scientist that whichever the scientist is proclaiming to do mm. will end wrongly and hurt people and because he's been influenced I, yes I, I, I get you so I, I, in in all of this so it seems to me that you're not happy with that you know the quality of our leadership but who has been your best performing president of a, of, it's Kwame Nkrumah, of course. Kwame Nkrumah. Of course, completely. No, I'm, I'm talking about the Fourth Republic. Who will be who? <sighs> Push to the wall. Who will it be? <laughs> yes, your best ah. performing president. My best, per yeah, my best performing president is President Kufuor. President Kufuor. Hands down. Why? Hands down. Because as a creative, mm. he did the as a creative. Right. He did the the Friday wear thing, and he changed the fashion industry. I mean, it would have been great if the next president would have added a Thursday and then the next one would have added a Wednesday. And before we realize, we only wear suits on Mondays when it's boring. Then the fashion industry would actually change. Beyond that is the HIPIC. Mm. Beyond that is the sum of his financial policies, the social net systems, right. the health. I, I just... I just love President Kufour. So for you, it's President Kufour in the fourth Yes, but, but, the, but the overall best president mm. of Ghana is Kwame, Kwame Nkrumah. For me. All right, yes. then. You are a proud son of Ashanti. Has this government, the MPP government, development to your kinsmen? I mean, which is the stronghold of the MPP from where you sit? Uh, I, I think that development should be national. Mm. It shouldn't be Ashanti. Yeah, but from where massive, you, yeah, but from where you come from, where is their stronghold? What is the situation? It's, it's like not for about stronger. People vote for mm -hmm. people vote for you in Bantama or in Kajetia means that you should take 
the nation's resources. You mm -hmm. take the nation's resources to where it's needed the most. Clearly. For, Clearly. for purposes mean, of equity. Yes. For purposes of balance. Mm. You know, so I don't even look but, at Which it. is what every government would do. But from where you are coming from, and that's why I'm asking you that question, that do you see a semblance of that from where you're coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't answer the question. Why? Right. Because I have not looked at it from that perspective. Oh, okay, that's fair. I, well, if, if, yeah. when, when I look at leadership, mm -hmm. I do not take myself out to, because mm -hmm. if we are talking of leadership, in my house, I'm the complete leader. Yeah. In hip life, I'm a leader. Right. In business, I'm a leader. In All encompassing. Exactly. I know, so yeah. I am looking at integrity. Forget leadership. Okay. Forget governance. Let us talk about integrity. And you, th because you, you think that integrity is lacking in all facets of leadership here in Ghana? At, at zero in, point in the, what you in said the church. Mm -hmm. In the policies, wow. at home, in the schools, in the in parliament, in everywhere, in business. It's interesting. And you stayed right there. Did you watch or listen to Dr. Uh, Baumia yesterday? No. Oh, no, you no, didn't? No. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. You did not yesterday. see SFs and all of that? I, no? No, I haven't. Of I course, haven't. if you didn't. I, I just wanted I your opinion I and, and fair opinion you know, of what transpired yesterday. But if you haven't, I mean, that, that, that should be fine. Should John Mahama come back? Or should Dr. Baumia lead the country from 2025? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a spiritual this person. This is chat, yes. I live in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the moment. Should John Mahama come back or should Dr. Baumia lead the country from 2025? I don't know. How? I don't know. I have not thought of it. Mm. I think that whoever, if, if uh, Uncle John comes back, okay. I think he will do what he's supposed to do, build more, you know, uh, structures, hospitals, this one. If um, Dr. Baumia, if Dr. Baumia mm. he will continue with his concept of digitization, cut, uh, whichever one comes. You're okay. I think country I'll be, broke, country no broke. I, I, I don't think, I don't think that the net, whoever is going to lead Ghana, mm -hmm. especially because of where we are right now. Okay. I don't think whoever is going to lead Ghana will we'll take us back. We'll feel as, Ghana. Yes, no, no. Mm. I think whoever leads Ghana will take us a, a bit forward. Really? Yes, because, because, you know, when you hit Interesting bottom. point. Yeah. Yes. When you hit rock bottom, you can only repent. But if you don't repent, when what we have gone through as a people, mm -hmm. we can either be wounded or be wise. And I want to assume that... You think that, are, that, is, that is where we are That now. is where we are. We are, we are at a crossroad. Yes, to either to emerge wounded or wise. And I think whoever leads you think Ghana, these two leaders, any of them, it's, it's not, it's should come just, to the party, they will do it. It's not just these, these two. two. Even if Alan should okay. come, oh, so you, he will. Alan, okay. if, even if Alan mm. come, even if Osofo Chirabosom yeah. leads Ghana, he will lead us out of where we are because... Because now it's not like it used to be. There's social media. We yeah, go yeah, uh, yeah, with yeah. seven thousand cities. You can go to Dubai and see what integrity can do to a nation in thirty-three years. Right. You know, so it is changing. You know, right. it is changing. It, it, yes, it is changing okay. completely. So I, I don't think it's about who is leading. I okay. think it's about our integrity. Okay. Because if we even put Jesus Christ in the helms of affairs, right. and we are still bribing the police and taking kickbacks. And ah, so, so you are saying that we are at rock bottom now, Ghana. Yes, as of this now, <laughs> with we President Ekufuado, we are at rock bottom. He's, he's he's doing his best, but his he's best doing, is not enough. Is that what you are saying? No, he's doing his best. So you know, one day are we at rock bottom? We are Ghana is at rock bottom. But have we been at rock bottom before? I'm forty-seven years old. In 1981, we are at rock bottom. Ah, so <laughs> we didn't even have. Are you saying that where we are now as a country, you can compare that to it? No, one was no. farming. No, we, I, I don't compare. But I'm trying yeah, to. But you say you've got, I'm trying to tell you that uh -huh. we we have been at rock bottom. Oh, Chami, Kwame, you are the tourism ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of this administration, and you are saying that we are at rock bottom. Oh, but you know that. You no, know no, that. You, you know you, that. As, are you still the tourism ambassador? Yes, I'm still a tourism ambassador. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm still one of the tourism ambassadors. Made in ambassador. Ghana ambassador. ambassador. Yes, for Ghana. And we are promoting uh, made in Ghana goods. We are promoting, you know, teaching people how to brand well, yeah. how to package well. Okay. We, are, we are doing made in Ghana events all across the world, mm. using the music to pick and it back for them. Then if you are saying we are at rock bottom, lift as from rock bottom with That's, what you are doing. That is oh. what I'm doing by mm. coming to this program to speak the about truth. Also by the coming truth. to yes, coming mm. to this program to encourage young people. How much? Did, how much do they pay you, or do they pay you as a tourism ambassador? Yeah. No, I, 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 I didn't. So, 
I didn't. You are struggling get paid. to answer the yes, question. Yes, because I want to answer it in the most sensible manner. Okay. I didn't get paid to become a tourism, but for purposes of um, there must be a consideration. Is the it on the, or the, No, the tourism ambassador mm -hmm. gave us. 10,000... Tourism minister, you mean? No, no. The the, at that time, it was Afeku and Akwesi Ajima. Yes. Yes, they gave us 10,000. It wasn't pay. It wasn't honorarium. But so that there's a contract. When we're signing the contract, mm. we got, I got paid 10,000 10, Ghana cities. Ghana cities. And I'm not complaining because... This, I, which year was this? I think it's about six or seven years ago. I'm not complaining, no. Because I am happy to become the tourism ambassador so that Ghana would develop. I and like at that, that time, mm -hmm. if Ghana did not have money to pay me to become a tourism ambassador, okay. I was already doing. Mm -hmm. I was selected to be a tourism ambassador because I was already With promoting, promoting Ghana. Ghana in that and, regard. And, and, and we need you so, to do that. Exactly. So yes. that is how much. Well, we did it for free. We did it for So free. apart from that 10,000 Ghana cities, you've not been paid any... Uh, no, no, not, not okay. at all. But mm. I will say that when I did the Made in Ghana album, mm. um, the GTA right. supported me with 30,000 Ghana to shoot the Kwa video. Okay. Kwa that's right. That's exactly. the, uh, 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 the Ghana Tourism Authority exactly, supported you. 30,000 Ghana to do the Kwa video. Okay. And I, I must also say that mm -hmm. they've put me on a lot of shows which have been paid properly, Fantastic. but not as a tourism ambassador. <laughs> no problem, I get that. <laughs> th th thanks for coming in with that. Of course, we'd like to say a big thank you to MTN. MTN is giving us something interesting and exciting, yes. Did you know that MTN Momo now has an app? Yes, MTN Momo has a brand new app specially designed to make your Momo experience easier, convenient, and faster. So it allows you to view your statements, you pay your bills, and so much more. So go on and download the Momo app now and start transacting with a flex and no data cost. MTN, everywhere you go. So a big thank you to Haptel as well for supporting us and Orca Valentine. Some exciting news from Orca. So guess what? Orca Deco has something for us this Valentine season. Get red hot deals when you shop at Orca from now until the 17th of February. And I'm talking about big discounts at Orca. Selected furniture, exclusive decor pieces, home accessories, kitchen appliances, light, Valentine gifts, and more. So go ahead and express your love and set the mood with something special. Special items from Orca Decor. And that's some great one for you. And also Haptel. Haptel says sometimes buying your car insurance isn't the problem. It is when you forget to renew it and then you get into trouble with the police or an accident. Instant car insurance is now on Haptel. Get your instant car insurance sticker anytime. Go to haptel.com forward slash app to install your Haptel app. Haptel is everything you. Ochami Kwame. My brother. Interesting. Loads of messages here. I want to actually get into some of the messages right here on the show. So let's see um, who has sent in this one. Okay. So, okay. Feeling Daddy, listening to us in Takrade. Oh, my he's, brother. He's the manager for Empire FM. Yes. And he says that, are you satisfied with the performance of the ministers at the tourism industry? Or ministry, he says. Is, is that he, a question? Yeah, that's the question. So, um, about five months ago, I got the opportunity to work with some um, owners of big ships who do cruises around the world. Mm. And so we, they, they wanted to set up in Ghana. So, they wanted um, interest. They wanted political interest. So, okay. I went to talk to Okreku, okay. Mark, and uh, Honorable, Honorable Mark. Okreku Mante. Yes, Half and Honorable Okreku. Halfway through my presentation, they said, yes, we agree. And then Honorable said, I, o you and Okreku can go to Switzerland together Fantastic. in the next two weeks to go and show mm. political will, will. Mm. and the fact that we are interested in this partnership. Fantastic. This is my experience mm -hmm. with the ministry. Okay. So no. clearly, I mean, they yes. are supporting. So, I mean, so if yes. if they are responding like that to everyone, everyone yes. who is going to them with business, mm -hmm. you know, then then they are doing they well. They are doing well. Yes. So it means that you've had a fantastic relationship uh, and a positive feedback. Com from completely. You can you, when you talk to Honorable mm -hmm. Mark, you can find out. Find out. Yes, it. he was willing to pay his own ticket to go to, to go with me to Europe fantastic. to go and broker the deal to make sure it happens for Ghana. Fantastic. Yes. And that's 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 how we want things to be done. And, and, and to get, you know, uh, things going as well in this country. Well, we, we have some messages, but we want you to go on to the mystery question as we have just about a minute 
to end the show. So the mystery question, what do you have there, Ochami Kwame? I was going to actually <laughs> activate the phone lines, but so yes, what's what the question right there, Ochami Kwame? What can't I live without? Yes, what can't you live without, Ochami Kwame? P- peace of mind. It's more important to me than anything. Peace I, of mind. So I can't live without, you know, at least one hour of the whole day when I'm not talking to anyone, mm. where I'm quiet, concentrating on my breathing and breathe out. Peace of mind. Right. Okay. And the next one is right there for you as well. Who is your greatest Boga High Life musician of all time? Right. Amachi Dede, Dade Lumba. Mm-hmm. is not a Boga High Life musician. Yeah. He says so he's a regular a musician. A High Life musician. Who is or you don't a, you don't consider Kojenchi to be a High Life musician? He is. No, yeah, but he doesn't call himself a High Life musician. Okay. He doesn't. So you want to narrow it down between Amachi Dede and Dade Lumba? Your, your, your all time push to the wall will be who Ochami Kwame. But you see, you people are getting me into trouble. You're this not in trouble. This so one, Ochami this, Kwame. The, these are giants. giants. These are giants. So but the two the, of them. But yes. the, the, the musician mm-hmm. that I lo- oh man, this yeah. is not good. Very I, good I, I won't answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> Ochami, I won't answer this push question. Push to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they are musicians yes. from Ghana. Giants. Yes. The three of them. Oh, Ojo Nchi, no Daddy Lumba. I'm actually oh, on any day. Who will you? I mean, put in a record and say the whole day I can listen to this. Who will all of them, <laughs> all of them. I know you want all to, of them. I know you want to play it safe. I'm not playing it safe, but I don't mm. think. You see, when it comes to art, mm-hmm. we can't compare mm. because mm. it is the expression of the soul, and everyone has a different soul. But you are the best rapper alive. You that say. completely, <laughs> <laughs> according to my judgment. No problem. Exactly. That is fine. One day, when all is said and done. Would you want to be the president of Musica? Are you c- contemplating? No, not at all. Right. I'll do something for unionism in Ghana, mm. but I don't think that it will be the president of me. Maybe I'll go and take the administrator of Musica, or mm. maybe. But not the Gamero. president of, of, of Musica. No, no, I, do, I don't think mm. I can. The type of reform that I want to bring into. into Bessa music. is there doing a great job. If Bessa is not there and there's an election today, three people that you feel can handle uh, j- the j- union. Just one person. Yeah, I mean three. three I, names. I I I will oh, give you just one, one name. Who's R- that? Richie Mensa. Richie Mensa. Yes. We should, we should all root for Richie Com- Mensa to be completely. Many completely. have said D Black. I have not worked with D Black in terms of how administrative he is. I see he's very creative. Mm. He knows how to make money. I've seen what he's done with himself. Okay. He's built an amazing brand. Supported other people, but I still say Richie Mensa. Richie Mensa for yes. musical president. Completely, he will he will change things. Ochami Kwame, it's been a pleasure. Medas engaging you right here <laughs> on Star Chat. Your biggest fear in life will be will be to tell you what my biggest fear is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any day, any time, which will be your all-time favorite, so that we play it for you as we sign out. My all-time favorite, yes, play, from your own. play Bolga Tanga Girl. Bolga Tanga Girl. Yes. Be- because uh, that song sat uh, on the pages of my mind for 20 years before I recorded it. Oh. So I met a girl in Kumasi when I was much younger. Okay. She was crying with a baby, and then she said, and then I went to her. I thought she wanted money. So she said that she wanted to go back to the north. Okay. She's the Kayaye mm. for Kaupa. Okay. And then a man had come to trick her that um, he's going to marry her. He mm. brought her to Kumase, oh. turned her into uh, Kayaye, mm. and then in the evening he beats her. Oh, and this, no, and then no. she wants so to go back, but mm. she doesn't have Duku. Oh. And so when she goes back, they will laugh at her for oh. coming to spend all this time in Kumase. She just came with and, 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 with and that's what a scarf or a head yes gear she doesn't have yes. i know it's a it's an exaggeration for i have nothing nothing yes so, I yeah, know. exactly I so know. she doesn't have to and then so that's i say one day when i have a voice mm. i'll do a song to to address this issue okay exactly we're, we're, so. we're, we're, we're trying to yeah. find the Bogatanga, Bogatanga girl. girl for you but it's, a, a, Kwame, it's been great having you on the show like it's been great have, having to put me in so much <laughs> trouble <laughs> I've enjoyed every bit of this interview, <laughs> and we wish you the very best. Thank continue you. to speak your truth. Continue to be who you are. And hey, we wish you the very best. Thank you. Midas. Midas. Thank you. Midas.